Hey y'all, it's Jana, and today, or tonight really, I'm about to make some banana bread. And it's crazy because like, I'm not really one of those people that like bananas too much. Like when I was a kid, I used to eat bananas a lot. Like I would put bananas in my Cheerios, I put bananas in my oatmeal, I, I eat bananas a lot. So now I don't really like bananas too much. The way that I do like to enjoy them is in banana bread. But, only my banana bread. I don't really like other people's banana bread too much. It'd be a little bit too banana y. So, banana bread or banana pudding is my go to's when it comes down to having something banana flavored. So, let's get into it. Alright, y'all. So, this is what we're starting off with overly ripe bananas. I know what you're thinking, ew, but this is the best way to have your bananas for banana bread. They are so sweet. And typically, you know, if you have really old bananas, you don't let them get this dark. But I suggest if your bananas start to get too dark to the point where like you don't want to eat them anymore that way, let them get black as hell. Let them get black because they're super sweet and they're perfect for banana bread. I normally sit mine in the fridge for a little bit because I don't like leaving old fruit on my countertop, but I definitely let my bananas get really black if I know I want some banana bread. So this is what we're starting off with. If you have fresh bananas, you can air fry them or cook them in the oven for a while. I think it's on like 425 for 15 minutes or something and they'll get like really black. I don't know, look it up, but you can get them dark and really, really sweet and caramelized in the oven if you want banana bread right away. You don't want to wait for your bananas to get overly ripe. So we got bananas, we have butter, baking soda, baking powder, flour, sugar, brown sugar, salt, I sprinkled the top of mine with just a little bit of cinnamon. And sometimes I use nutmeg, but I don't have any, so we just gonna make it do what it do with the cinnamon. And then vanilla extract. I prefer a higher quality vanilla extract, but this is what we have, and we are gonna make a shake with that. I also have my recipe written down, so if you see me look down, that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, and I need an egg, hold on. I got my egg. So I'm gonna start off with our wet ingredients first. I do need to melt my butter. So we're gonna use a fourth cup of melted butter, which is about four tablespoons, I believe. I'm gonna double check that because I suck at measurements. <laughs> I really be cooking and doing stuff till my ancestors stay stop, y'all. That's why I have not come out with a cookbook. Like I've had a lot of friends and family ask me for a cookbook. But your girl don't know how to measure. It just don't, it never clicked with me. Like I can do, I can do math really well, but me and measurements? No, nah, no, nah, you ain't gonna get that out of me. I can't do it. If you are melting butter, you don't want it to be too hot to the point where when you mix it with the egg, it cooks the egg. So we're gonna get this melted up. I don't put it on too hot. I just put it in the microwave for about 15, 20 seconds and then let it pop it up. Our butter is melted, so I'ma just dip this to the side and let it cool down a little bit while we do all of our other wet ingredients. Let me grab my bananas. Ew! Y'all, this makes me cringe so bad. It makes me cringe so bad. I'm not like the feeling of ripe bananas. It just don't sit right. But I'm gonna use four. But see, the inside is still like, they are so like, <laughs> They're mushy, but they are so sweet. Like, ooh, y'all, this just feels disgusting. And they're cold too, so. <laughs> Help! Whenever I'm cooking or baking, I always have a little trash bag beside me so that I can toss things. What else time we use four? Okay, this is three. Sometimes I use, it depends on like the size of bananas or my mood really, but I'm feeling a little bit more banana-y and I'm making this for someone else to have too. So we just gonna go ahead and use up both of these bananas. So we're gonna set these to the side. I might give them to my dad to put in his garden as compost. 
Don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Butter is still a little too warm for my wife. So we're gonna put, what am I looking for? On my egg. I'm gonna crack our egg next. What egg? You know what? I saw something on TikTok. This lady had cracked her egg directly into what she was making. And she thought her egg was good and everything. That egg was black. And it was like sizzling and cement. That's how rotten it was. And I should have learned from her, but Russian roulette. I'm gonna just keep playing the game because YOLO. And then you could do a cup of white sugar, but I like to do half and half. So I'll do half brown and half white. And that goes into the wet mixture. The sugars do not go into the dry mix. You know you need a taste test. <laughs> All right, don't mind me, y'all. I don't pack my brown sugar down only because I don't need anything to be too sweet. I'm not really a big sweet fan. I'm more of like a savory. So I like to do it like sweet and sweet. Well, we are gonna use the brown sugar again later. So I'm gonna just set this to the side. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of white sugar. And it doesn't have to be perfect, of course, because like I said, these bananas are so sweet. Like they're basically sugar for real. So we got that in the bowl, and now our butter is, it's not cold, but it's cool enough to not cook a dang egg. So I'm gonna just add this in here. And I'll show y'all what it's looking like. Mine too much because I still like to have little chunks of banana in there. So let's move on to the dry. I do have a sifter here because my mama always told me to sift my dry ingredients so there's no clumps, lumps, bumps, nothing. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of all purpose flour. I do level out my flour, that is muy importante. And I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use a cup and a half instead of three half cups because I don't know, I feel better about that. I don't have any parchment paper. If I did, I definitely would have that under my flour so I wouldn't waste any. But I don't, so we just go on work with what we got. So we did our one cup and now it's time to do half a cup. I honestly need to buy more flour, but I really don't, I don't bake a lot, nor do I fry food often. I, wear, I don't fry food at all, for real. Unless I'm really craving some chicken and waffles. If you want a chicken and waffles video, let me know, cause, honey. But yeah, so we got our one and a half cup of flour. Put this away. I'm going to sift that out a little bit. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna take our teaspoon of baking powder. I mean, of, child, wrong thing, baking soda. Then we have our teaspoon of baking soda. And then, because I want it to rise, the original recipe that I had tried did not call for baking powder, but my bread did not rise. So I added baking powder and it started to rise very well, with a rock solid or too cracky. So we're gonna use baking powder. The key to baking powder is making sure that it's fresh. Like, if your baking powder is not fresh, ain't no point of using it. So I have some baking powder. We're gonna add that in. Just do a half a teaspoon of that. Then, I don't really measure my salt, and I'm not gonna put it in there because, actually, I'm gonna use a different salt because this one is a little too big. I'm gonna go ahead and sift this into the bowl because the salt is not gonna sift through here. See if you get all the big chunks out and it's real fine and powdery now. And I really need to start preheating my oven, but I've been having some issues with my oven lately. Like, I don't know what it is with these brand new appliances, but we're cool. Get it together. This is the second time this is gonna happen and my rent too high for stuff to not be working. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Honestly, the south side. My rent is too high for my appliances to not be working. Anyway, 
The recipe calls for about a teaspoon of salt. Personally, I eyeball that because it's really based on how I feel. Mix that in. I just mix it around a little bit to make sure things are incorporated. And now I'm gonna add that into my mixer. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I forgot to add my vanilla. Let me add this into my wet mixture and then I'm gonna add this because vanilla extract is important. And I'll add a lot. I add a lot. Like, I know recipes be like, add one teaspoon. No, baby, I'm adding half the bottle because it matters. I'm gonna mix that for a little bit. Now we're gonna add in our dry. And what we are not gonna do with this is over mix it. Make sure that when you are making this, you do not over mix your batter. Do not over mix it, do not over mix it, do not over mix it. Like I'm telling you, don't over mix it. Cause if you do, you're gonna cry. You just let that make, you basically like fold it until it just, it combines just enough, but not too much. While that's going, gonna take our loaf pan and grease it. Some people prefer glass loaf pan, but I personally like the dark coated um, loaf pans because they crisp up the sides and the edges better. And I love crispy edges on any dessert that I have. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna take some butter. You can use spray. I personally prefer butter. Or you can use Crisco if you have Crisco, like your grandma and them. But butter is my go-to. You can use your hand, or you can try to, yeah, we're gonna use our hand. Don't say, this is my banana bread. My mama used to use the paper towel, but baby, paper towel's expensive these days, and I'm not wasting none, so. And the most important part of greasing your pan is getting in the corners, get in the corners. I do this when I'm making brownies too. Just makes everything 10 times better. You can use, you can use parchment paper to line your pan, but I feel like that kind of takes away from the, the crispiness of the edges or the sides of the bread. I should have told y'all to preheat your oven at 325 before you start. Um, but like I said, my oven is tripping and I didn't want it to be beeping crazy while I was talking to y'all. So I'm gonna see if it'll work right and I'm gonna preheat it real quick. Just give me a sec. While that's preheating, I'm gonna transfer this batter to the pan and I'm gonna show y'all how we gonna spice it up a little bit, literally. Take this out. And it's really quick and easy to do. Like, people think baking and stuff, certain things, people think baking certain things is hard, but banana bread is honestly one of the easier desserts to make. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add this in. My hands are so small, so it's like, it's hard to do certain things. And I love the chunks of banana. So I make sure I clean this bowl. We're not leaving nothing in this bowl. Scrape the edges, scrape this. Now with the last little bit, take my brown sugar and I sprinkle it on the top. Not too much, but it caramelizes and then it leaves like a nice crust on the top of my bread. 
And that's my favorite part. Like I'm not the type of person that puts like walnuts, pecans, I don't, I do not like nuts in my dessert. I don't know if I'm the only one that's like that, but I can't stand it. Like I'll eat them by themselves, but in a dessert, don't give me that. So this is like the Razz Dazzle that I add to my banana bread. Then I take a little bit of cinnamon, not too much though, cause I'm not a big cinnamon person. And I add that on top. Then I take my knife and I swirl it. I swirl it, then I put a nice line through the middle. And I'll show you what it looks like. Y'all wanna know the hardest part about this whole thing? It takes an hour to bake. Sorry, forgot to tell you that. <laughs> That's the way to game. That's the hard part. I really hate the fact that like you can't play music in the background of your YouTube videos. Cause if I could, y'all, I'd be going crazy. I would be singing. Y'all be sick of me if I could play music while I'm doing stuff. Cause that's all I do. I love music. If you have any playlists, please drop them. Drop a playlist in the comments. For the one time. Cause I love a good playlist. Like we can be besties over music. Like me and my soulmate will bond over music. That's, that's just what it is. All right y'all, the oven's preheated. So we're gonna add this in and we're gonna wait an hour, which if you're on TikTok, an hour does not take long. It flies by. So I'm gonna put High School Musical. No, matter of fact, I'm gonna put Scandal on the TV and I'm gonna watch TikToks. Boom, an hour go by just like that. Hey Google, start a timer for an hour. All right, one hour, starting now. Y'all, it's gonna smell so good in here. That's like what I'm most excited about. It's gonna smell like bananas and sugar and cinnamon. And that's my favorite like scent. I love stuff that smells like vanilla, sweet. Like my signature scent is probably vanilla. People always tell me I smell like vanilla, so we just gonna go with that. That's in the oven, so I'm gonna catch y'all back here in an hour. What's up y'all, I am back. We have about 26 seconds left on our banana bread, so let's get ready to take it out. I don't never want to wait for a timer to end, y'all. Like, I'm gonna sit here and stare at it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It smells so good. It smells so good in here. Like, literally bomb. But I got mine. It's ready. Get my oven mitt. Let's get it out. Hey, Google, stop the timer. Smells so good. It smells so good. Okay. My oven mitts are dirty. That's how you know I've been cooking, so don't mind that. We're gonna let it rest and cool down a bit before we take it out the pan. But I'm just like really tempted to just boom, dump it out right now. Let's give y'all a view before it come out. The top has a nice crust on it from the brown sugar. Ooh, so good. We have our bread knife and our cutting board. I just wanna dump this out so bad and it just looks like it's just ready to come, like come right out. Ooh. I think we, I think we can take it out now even though it's not all the way cool. Y'all wanna risk it? <laughs> I'm so impatient. Like why am I like this? I just wanna eat it. It just, it smells so good. It smells so good. Bump it, let's take it out. This is hot. Oh. It came right out. Okay, it came right out. We're good, we're good. <laughs> we're good, it came right out. Like, oh my gosh, it looks so good y'all. All right, y'all, I'll let it cool down a little bit more, just a little bit, but we are not gonna wait too long because I really want to try this. I've had banana bread in so long.
All right, y'all, let's try a piece. Mmm. Oh my goodness. And the best part is the press at the top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like, and look how spongy and moist. Like, it's literally so moist. Hmm. That's all I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you try this recipe. If you do, come back and let me know. And if there's any other recipes you guys want to see, comment them down below. You can always DM me, reach out to me on any other platform. I really do appreciate you guys. Those who've subscribed, those who've watched, commented, interacted with me. It means a lot. Um, definitely does because y'all getting me, y'all getting me somewhere and I feel like I'm building a little community here. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, send this to your brother, cousin, sister, auntie, uncle, mama, daddy, grandma, whoever. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.